I want to be very intentional about two things as I start this video. First off, it's obviously not going to be monetized. I'm not doing this for the clicks. I just feel like I need to share something on this day and the news that we woke up with. And the second part about this video is it's not going to be scripted. Normally, I have a presentation here. I have things I'm trying to say. It's organized. I apologize if this just kind of comes out in no particular order, but the hockey world lost a very favorite player last night and his brother, and I think that's also part of the, the equation. Uh, Johnny Gaudreau was notable in the hockey world, but this is about a family. This is about sons and fathers and husbands and a family wedding that they were preparing for today and the tragedy of how they passed. And there's never a good way or reason, but the most unfathomable way that this happened and even how the news broke last night. There were, let's say, whispers of this and unconfirmed this and unconfirmed that. And I won't get into to that right now because it it seems to be a minute part of the bigger picture here, but the way that this all unfolded and the way that we all found out and everybody's worst fears were realized. Can't say I'm somebody that uh, knows Johnny personally or his family, obviously uh, watched and followed the career, but what you are seeing right now is so many people that did know him on that most personal, most intimate basis, uh, stepping up and and taking the time to acknowledge the person that he was and not just what he meant to a fan base in Calgary and a fan base in Columbus, but how good he was as a teammate, as a family member, as a father. And you know what the, the interesting part about this is that it would, it would just be a regular news story if it wasn't somebody who we're all familiar with. And that's, that's actually kind of sad. It's, it's sad that it takes somebody noteworthy to, to bring attention to a terrible tragedy like this, but here we are. And also here we are right around the corner from training camps getting started. I mean, literally within the next week or two, Johnny would have been there with his teammates. And again, I'm, I'm also... I'm doing it, and I shouldn't be doing it, but let's not forget Johnny and his brother Matthew both lost their lives here. So let's not prioritize one over the other. This is something that a family is going to have a really hard time moving on from ever. The tragedy of one night. And I, and I wish them the best in their grieving process and getting through this as best they possibly can. You don't ever get over this. You, you, I suppose, get through it at some point the best you can. But I think right around the corner from the hockey season and it hits fans who are from Columbus and Calgary and Detroit and New York and Los Angeles and all corners of the continent and around the globe. I mean, you don't, you don't earn a nickname Johnny Hockey unless... You are that guy. Anyway, I, I feel like sports brings us some of the best emotions we could ever have. But a lot of times sports brings us back to real life. And that's what this is. And this is one of the worst parts of real life. And yes, we're talking about a hockey player because that was Johnny's profession. And Matthew, obviously, having a career in hockey too, it's it's that's who they, that's who they were as professionals. But I, I want to make sure that we understand the human side of this, and exactly what's going on there too. So, I don't know if this, I really don't know if this is going to provide better insight or perspective for anybody. I just feel like this is something that, given the circumstances. Just we all need to kind of grieve together a little bit and understand how precious life is all the time. A moment like this will definitely 
make you see it differently. And I don't want anybody to feel like this is a life lesson, but I do think we should be mindful of what terribly happened here, something that is a possibility for anybody in life, that an accident happens you couldn't have seen coming or you could not have prevented this. It is some kind of reminder. And I I know none of us wanted this, but I guess that's the only real takeaway for all of us. And again, just to imagine what the Goudreau family is going through right now on a day that was supposed to be celebratory for the rest of time. I cannot even imagine. And so I'll, I'll leave it with that. I appreciate everybody being polite and civil and respectful in the comments section below. And I just want to wish the best to the Goudreau family, to friends of the family, to the hockey community, which is coming together on a day like today. I do appreciate that. I just wish we never had to witness it.